kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking uh, probably in. I don't know what that is there. B probably B one. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, we're getting the old lay-on loader here, yoinked off of this 730. Buddy's place here, the guy that bought the 5020. We're gonna get this loader put on the 5020 for him. It'll be a little bit of customification we're gonna have to do, but I uh, started to take things off here and remember that guy should probably unhook the hydraulic hoses before I go too much farther. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get her lifted off of here and then we gotta take that inner frame and I'll talk to you again here in a few minutes. Well, it's a couple days later there after we took the loader off the old 730. But we got her in the shop here now. Turn this down a little bit so we don't get demonetized. And, uh, we got the 5020 in here also that he bought from me. Um, Dad and I got this popped back on like how it was supposed to be. It was popped out of the clips and hanging way off to the side. So, ah, uh, now, so these loader frames are a little bit different than like the, uh, my 707s here on this 626. This is kind of a light loader for this tractor, but it's what he's gotten for moving, uh, a couple bales around or whatever once a week it's going to work pretty good for them i think so um instead of it being a solid rectangle frame like the 707 it uses these uh angle irons like that and uh they're two individual pieces and then they would bolt on here and then this went to the back axle and clamped on the axle. Well, that's fine and well on a little tractor, the 730 and a 4020, but on this guy here, you can't get to the back axle with something like that. And the frame is three times the frame is what the 730 and the 4020 have. So what we're going to do is uh, these pieces here, originally were the uh, what that sat on and bolted everything together right so now instead of them being at the back well they're still going to be at the back but they're not going to be at the back because <laughs> the loader is not deep enough it's only this deep eh? well look how much longer the tractor is than that it's going to end up about here the arms instead of back here so we're going to drill four holes in the frame and four holes in that and then that is going to obviously be bolted there and then these angle iron the frame itself is going to bolt on to it and that's what's going to give it its strength at the back and then at the front we're going to take these two bolts out and that red frame piece there, we're going to cut a chunk out of it, the width of the frame here, and weld it in to make that one piece that way instead of the two individual pieces. And then that's going to hold the front of it up, bolt it on here, and then she's going to be pretty fucking solid. And then, uh, of course, with that big square tubing, that way we've got something to build off of to make a push bar on here for them to protect the nose since this tractor is so nice and straight and uh, from there we got to get the lights working got to make a windshield clean the cab put cushions on it um, got to find a dash cover and uh, put the batteries back where they belong in the cab and make a couple cables and put a heater in it and put some hydraulic hoses up through here I'm gonna make a hole in the cab itself here 
to run all the hoses in and put a three spool valve in there to run the loader. Seeing as how, uh, well, I guess that bucket is gonna go on here. That's one of our old buckets, the cutting edge is buggered on it. But uh, he figures that'll be good enough for what he wants to do. And I mean, that's a seven foot bucket versus a four foot bucket. <laughs> and then he's got another bucket outside. That's just a little piss ant thing, but it has a, a piss ant grapple fork, but he only paid a hundred bucks for it. So we're gonna put the piss ant grapple fork on this bucket and then onto this loader for him. So that's kind of the plan. That's why we need a three spool valve instead of just the two remotes in the cab. And then that way having a three spool valve, he's still got an open remote on the back for when he runs that uh, 605 Vermeer, the one that I had last year, he bought it as well. So. Anyway, I guess then we will uh, bring you back here in a little bit. Well, it's the next day again and it's dark out. And I've been doing all kinds of other stuff today, but uh, I picked up a whole bunch of stuff for 5020. And I started working on making cab kit for it. And I don't think I showed you, but I got the heater mounted up in her. So I've got the layer of insulation on it's not real thick but I mean there's only so much you can do in one of these cabs um, I mean you could put thicker stuff in there but you can't down here because you'll end up you won't be able to make that fucking curve very nicely so piss on it I'm gonna put that and then a layer of uh, upholstery over top of it so uh, I've got this shape made and I'm gonna have to do uh, the same but reversed for that side there's the heater and I got a three-speed switch on it had to make a fancy bracket there to go on the side but I'm gonna end up taking that back out again here while I do the cab kit but uh, yeah and wires and shit fucking everywhere all kinds of work to do so I got a hard time Concentrating on doing one thing I always end up seem like I start on one thing and start on another and start on another By the end of the day nothing's done, but everything's halfway done <laughs> So I'm gonna try to keep myself focused here oh, fuck. Of course it wouldn't quite be the right width, eh? Might be close enough though just to say not that far off this cock sucking phone that keeps stopping recording anyway so I've got that insulation and then I got some foam rubber here to seal up the windows and uh, this is gonna be his brown interior here just rubber backed carpet I find that uh, insulates pretty good too. Then I'm going to make them a floor mat just out of the uh, rubber like that. And I've got this piece here drying. That's going to have the hoses, the push-pull couplers and everything bolted to it for the loader couplers and hoses and what have you. But anyway, we'll keep on working and talk to you in a little bit here once we've got a few pieces up in that cab. It's like the inside of a spaceship here with all this shiny stuff. <laughs> so, I just started doing the fender here. Um, I did the pillar, pillars, front and, and the back ones there as well. Uh, I gotta do a strip along up there and then those front corners yet and all that stuff there. But I'm gonna try and get these fenders done here first they're the biggest part and then i'll know if i've got enough of this that way i think it'll be pretty damn close then that's all just big squares but like i said i gotta get that back out of here and that's gonna bother me but i might just paint it with a paintbrush after so <laughs> anyway i'll get these last two sheets on here and then uh, bring you back in a few well it's the next day here uh, I'm just on my way up to Mooseman to go pick up a whole truckload of parts. I got all kinds of shit. There's Macdon Swather parts and belts and filters and lights and 24 volt to 12 volt conversion kits and 
oh god a seat a hood badge all kinds of stuff so um this fucking phone i'm gonna throw it out the window didn't do too much more on the 5020 since we last talked there uh dad done quite a bit of welding on the loader and whatnot but i'll show you that in the next video uh yeah so i'm gonna go to mooseman pick up all those parts and uh, I'll probably keep working on that all afternoon again here so i suppose me and dropped you ah <laughs> uh, we're gonna go pick those parts up so i guess thanks for watching make sure you hit that like button comment subscribe all that kind of good stuff other than that take care and we'll talk to you in the next one